Hey guys, Chumpask here, bringing you another replay. Um, today between uh, Fly and Sky. Um, as you can see, it's on uh, Twisted Meadows. Sky is the um, red human in the 5 o'clock position, and Fly is the purple orc in the 2 o'clock position. And um, this is just from uh, the WCG China qualifiers. And um, as you may know, it's um, a best of one, which uh, does cause problems sometimes because last year Sky actually failed to qualify because he lost his best. He lost one of his best of ones in a um, to a sort of random, and uh, that meant that he wasn't actually in the competition that he's won twice in the sort of the biggest Warcraft competition um, in the world. And as you can see, very standard build from both players here, Sky. Um, power built his altar, so his um, Archmage will be coming up fairly quickly, and he'll go and creep this camp here with um, just his Archmage, Water Elemental, and Militia, with presumably um, peasants coming later, or um, footmen coming later. And uh, as you can see, it's a fairly good spawn for S Sky, because if Fly wants to go and uh, get a creep jack on him, he actually has to go a fair distance. He has to go all the way down past um, Sky's base to the uh, Merc camp, whereas if. Um, Sky was at this position, the uh, 10 o'clock position, it's really easy to be creepjacked. And so um, Sky has got a bit lucky there, and you can see he's putting up his first tower now as well. And his arc page is now up, almost up, but as you can see his first footman has just started building, so um, he'll probably be calling militia in a second. Yeah, here they come now. He's bringing six militia, and his he already has one water elemental up. This is quite important. Um, there are a couple of different ways of playing it, but what's generally is quite popular is if you bring out your first wall water elemental as soon as possible uh, it allows you to get up your second one a bit earlier and uh, that allows you as you can see he now is two up and that just means he has enough DPS that he doesn't need to bring in any extra militia whereas often you'll see um, the players will bring out their water, water elemental too late and so we'll actually have to bring sort of seven or eight militia and that actually hurts their gold economy because they might have to take some off gold or um Whereas, as you can see, uh, Sky has none on lumber. He has one constructing, but he does have a full five on gold. And that's really what you need at this point. And um, Sky bringing an another militia here. I'm not sure what he's going to use it for. Maybe just for scouting, because he hasn't yet s scouted. Uh, Fly just doing some very standard creeping at this point. He's sold his TP to buy a circlet, and he'll um, get another item here. Whereas Sky, what item did he get? Sky got a Sobi mask. That's quite a nice item. It's especially nice if he gets sort of a Mountain King second, something like that. But um, on a low level level Archmage, it's quite useful as well because Brilliant Aura won't allow him to build as many Water Elementals as he likes, uh, but it'll allow him to build a lot. And uh, Sky needs to mic yeah, Sky micros out that Militiaman, and um, Fly just scouting now as well. Uh, I think he might know that Sky is here just based on all of these militia coming down and um, he's just uh, keeping that peon around he's not actually going in to attack anywhere whereas uh, Sky's just running his archmage around and this uh, camp will actually get him level 3 so he actually has quite a good creep route here he should watch out for that militia which is at 8 hit points but it looks like it might be okay um, oh it might get hit? no it doesn't and uh, meanwhile uh, Sky is just uh, scouting about with his Archmage. That's a fairly good idea just because it means that you don't have to keep your Archmage in any one spot and uh, so it's harder for the Blade Master to try and creep it and so if you've just brought enough Militia to creep it without your Archmage anyways it, um, that can work out quite well although it does mean you have to watch out for your Lumber economy a bit. And uh, Sky now taking out this Voodoo Lounge which um, Fly might want to run back and just buy some items quickly, but he won't actually be able to in time, so that's going to be quite bad for him. And uh, Sky actually putting up a very um, a hidden tower in Fly's base, which I doubt he's seen. No, he hasn't seen it yet. So um, he, uh, Sky might be going for some sort of tower rush, and he is bringing in militia here, so it looks like we will see a tower rush. And this is very well timed, as you can see, because um, Fly only has four grunts and his blade master at this point and so what Sky really needs and um, his tech is really early on still so Sky has a bit of time now to put up some towers and hold off Fly and um, the Otis is really on Fly now to actually attack and um, either take down all the peasants or uh, kill the hero just to uh, put um, uh, Sky on the backhand really so he can't um, continue pressuring because as soon as Fly starts getting out uh, tier 2, uh, the second hero and um, tier 2 units and putting up towers and stuff like that, it, that's when it starts going really bad for him and you can see these water elementals really doing a lot of damage to the grunts and uh, 
Fly actually blocking one of his own grunts here. He should move his Blade Master, but um, he doesn't actually manage to. And uh, uh, one tower is now up, and Fly has to use Windwalk to get his Blade Master away. But Sky does dust him, so he will be able to uh, hit him even with a Windwalk. And uh, another guard tower is almost finished now. You can see this first tower, even though it can't hit anything, it probably was worth building it so far away just because Fly didn't see it, and it means that he got it up so early. And the Voodoo Lounge actually going up in Fly's base, I'm not sure that's a wise choice at this point because it'd be fairly easy to cancel. Uh, obviously, Fly would have had to bring a peon out somewhere just to um, build it somewhere else, but that might have been the better choice, just even if it took a bit longer because um, it could be it could have been cancelled here but uh, Sky chose to go for a burrow instead and uh, this grunt taking a lot of damage now it's not looking good for Fly I mean there's only so much a Blade Master can do when it's at really low hit points because it can wind walk in and kill a unit but then it can only do that a couple times before it's uh, run out of mana and then really you just have to fight it normally and at that point uh, it's quite weak against sort of a whole army and um, Archmage lo uh, still level 3 but obviously um a bit more experienced than the blade master and um blade master now really low uh only 130 hit points and uh war mill now done for fly so he's putting up a tower but this is probably going to be a bit late if he could if he can get it up that'll be nice but um sky's already building a arcane vault because he has as you can see these two low footmen and so it's just worth trying to save them but fly actually comes in and takes out one actually takes out them both just with one hit each that's very nice but um oh the last hit from the archmage kills oh no from the tower actually kills the blade master and uh fly ggs out so um that was just a quick game that i thought i'd cover because i hadn't yet covered a um successful tower tower rush and so i thought i'd just sort of good um talk a bit about what you need to be thinking about when you're doing a tower rush and I think in this game, Sky had really nice timing. He knew um, uh, Fly was out creeping. He knew uh, uh, he, where the Voodoo Lounge was and managed to kill that early on, which meant that uh, Fly couldn't get uh, he he couldn't micro grunts back and heal them really because he didn't have many salves left. And also, I think uh, Fly didn't have the perfect anti tower rushing base build. Um, ideally, I think he would have had his uh, alter a bit further uh, back and maybe a burrow a bit further forward. I'm not quite sure about that, but um, there, are, there are a couple of different builds and really uh, there's a, uh, th th they um, are designed for different things, but against Sky, you especially on Twisted Meadows where you can get at level 3 really quickly, you need to be worried about some early aggression. And um, especially against Sky, as you say, because he's known for his um, aggression. He's not, he's uh, not as much of a passive player as many other players are, especially um, human players. And uh, I think Fly m might have miscalculated and gone for uh, uh, sort of. Obviously, he went for four grunts, but I think uh, his base build was more designed towards a, um, a tier two push, which obviously is a possibility from Sky. But he could have adapted his base build as he moved along. Maybe. Um, obviously, it's terribly hard to play against Sky, anyways. Um, okay, well that's it. I hope you enjoyed it, and that's it. Thanks. But please feel free to um, comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks.